So this, this just started to happen and, and we didn't even do a, a greeting routine yet. Come. Good, so let's do a little greeting routine really quickly. Sit. Go say hi. Yeah, see that? Good. Oh, he's going to come back to me before I even call him. Sit. We're going to do that a few times. Go say hi. Oh, more children. Look at that. Oh, good boy. So instead of jumping, he's choosing to turn around, sit, and come back to me before he jumps. Notice I'm, I'm, not, I'm not restraining him. It's a loose leash. Go. Go get petted. Oh, very good. Look at that. I, I don't even know him. He's doing it the right way. Good boy. So he's not jumping on the children. And just in case you think it's because of the rewards that I have, I'm going to put the rewards way over here off camera and then do it without the rewards. So I don't have any food on me. He knows I don't have any food. Sit. Let's do it a couple more times. Go. Good. Very good. Yeah. Good boy. So you, you replace the rewards with the good and the petting later on. It still works without the rewards. Come. Good. Very good. But for a while, I want you guys to use the rewards like we'll show you. But you see, this is how after a few weeks, you don't need the rewards anymore because he does it just normally. One, one last time. Sit. Go say hi. You can pet him, man, if you want. Actually, it would help us a little bit if you did. Yeah, perfect. No jumping. It's really good. And then, come. Good, good boy. As soon as you call him to come, he comes back to you. Sit. So he's doing really well. He's a lot calmer in the presence of children and exciting, you know, locations. Things going on. A lot going on around here. He's doing really well. Thank you so much. It really helps this with the right hand you're never choking up you're never restraining if he goes to the end of the leash it's just a little a little signal good and he'll come to you but if you want to call him to come left hand leash right hand reward come back away good he comes to that right hand target his nose touches it it opens he gets the treat you say good and pet him with the same with the other hand because it's free. This is around your wrist, of course. And um, if he won't, if he won't stop looking at you, because you always want to practice calling him away from looking at something else. Create your own distraction. Throw, toss a piece of natural balance. Call him away from it. Come. You can practice that. Good. Anywhere that you are, in your backyard, in your house, wherever. Go. Come. Always back away because when you back away, good. Makes him rush to you. If you practice in this way where you back away a little bit as he's coming to you and he rushes to you, then in a real life situation where you don't have a reward, just have your empty hand. It's not, he doesn't know it's empty though because remember you're calling him to this closed fist um, and you can't back away because your back is to the curb or to a wall or something. He's still going to rush to you because of the way you practice. So always practice this way. You set up with your rewards and your leash and all of that. and then you'll have it when there is no leash and there are no rewards and you can't back away. So just keep practicing exactly like this. Okay. So we're, hi there. Hey. You guys can walk past, you should walk past. So we're having him practice a sit stay. There's a bunch of distractions. Look, kids, he's in a sit stay. They even wanted to come over and pet him, and I blocked them right at the last second, so they couldn't do that. He gets a reward for that. If you say, good, if you say sit, he knows that it means to stay, so you don't have to say stay. He's got a really good sit stay. And um, if he does get up, you're gonna, let's pretend that he made a mistake and he got up. Okay, so let's pretend he popped up. Come on, come on, bud. So you'd say no, you'd step into him, do a little reset. See how my body stepped into him? Nope. Okay. He needs to stay seated and wait until you either come back next to him, pat your leg and say, okay, which means to walk with you, or, okay, bud. Sit. The other way to release him is you're coming back to release him to be free. It's just go, and he's free. Okay. Sit. We're just practicing a random sit-stay here in the middle of the store, people walking past. Very good. That was excellent. 
good. He gets a reward for that. Notice how I'm rewarding when I come back next to him. Step away from him again. You may not even be able to see me practice this big sit stay here. We've been practicing out in public a lot so that he can handle different distractions in a busy place. Kind of like your house, only I think it's a lot busier here than your house, hopefully. And then when you're practicing this with him, stand back next to him, eye contact, reward straight down, good. And then to release him out of the sit is patting his chest, go, like that. And we'll move on and practice something else somewhere else. Okay. Let's go. Now. Okay. Down. Good. He deserves a reward for that. His down is really good now. You say it, he just drops right away. And of course, stay is built into down. So if you uh, say down, he knows that he's gonna stay there no matter where you go, no matter what you do, no matter what happens around him. He is going to stay there until you release him in a very specific way. Of course, we're practicing out here in public because it's a, it's a difficult place to, for a dog to have a stay, but he's doing really well. See how I'm good rewarding him between his feet there. Ideally, you want him to wait until you, wait till these people pass, wait until you no, no, no. Good, make, make sure you wait until he waits. That was a tough one. He waits until you put the reward down and withdraw and then he takes it off the ground, not taking it out of your hand, not grabbing it from you. That's the way you want to do it. So it's good like that where he waits, you withdraw, he takes it off the ground. But he just went through some really difficult distractions as we were talking about how to give him the reward and he stayed there. He's waiting for me to stand back next to him. This is the only way that he comes out of the down stay. Okay, sit, it's okay. Um, always release him out of the down stay and then have him sit. So release him to be free from a calm sit stay. Don't release him straight out of a down, let him run around and get excited because that's what's gonna happen and he's gonna lose this calmness that we want him to keep and we also want him to have a growing, even a higher level of calmness than he does now. So he's up, you have him sit, pat his chest and say go and now, now he's free, and you get to control that calmness, releasing him out of the sit stay. It's a lot easier to do it that way than to just re release him straight out of a down stay. Because usually dogs will just jump up and run around, they're all excited, they're anticipating they're about to be free. So that's why you wanna always release uh, from a down stay, um, finish with a, a calm sit stay right after that down. Okay. We're practicing somewhere else, down. And I am doing the down command, just, uh, oh, please, it's okay, we're not even here. We're not even here, go ahead, it's fine. No, yeah, it's, it's okay, yeah, nobody's gonna see this. We are practicing the down command in a place where there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, you saw what I did, which was, when I said down, I did this at the same moment. He's got a great down command now where I don't have to do that, but I think that maybe when he first comes back to you, to you know, while he gets used to doing the, these commands with you, you might have to help a little bit with the leash at first. So you see how there is no stay, and if I wasn't out in public, I could drop this leash and walk away, and he'd stay there. He's got a really solid stay. I also practice stuff like, you know, pulling the pressure on the leash. I'm pulling pretty hard right now, actually. Good, good. He, uh, at first, he would get up and come over to me every time. And that's one, one way you can practice with your, uh, your downstays. Just, you're not choking him, you're not yanking him, causing pain. Good, but almost every dog that comes to me at first when we're practicing the downstay, if I pull on the leash, they get up and come over to me because the owner's been pulling them everywhere. But now he knows that when I say down, it means to stay there no matter what. I can walk around him, I can pull on this, things can go past, uh, noisy, noisy things like something just fell over there, distractions, good boy. He looked, but he didn't get up. So he's, he's got a, a much higher level of focus, which in turn makes a dog 
just be calmer 24 7. he finally did get up so when he makes a mistake when you're having when you have him in down stay you say no you step into him like this you reset him put him back gently but firmly see what's going on here show what's going on there so that is really spooking him and they've been putting these boards on here for the last minute and finally it was just like too much for him and he popped up but see how he's back there Good, that funny noise and all that moving around is triggering him, but it's okay. Um, but he can, once you reset him in a situation like this, he'll usually refocus and not get up again because we've been practicing good in a situation like th this for a while. He's getting much calmer and in the presence of stress like this. So one last little walk around, just practicing his sit stay. Okay, okay, okay. You pat, pat your leg and say, okay, and he's gonna get up, then you have him sit, and then to release him to be free, it's go. And he's free out of his down say. Always do it that way. Okay, he stands up, you have him sit, release him from a calm sit stay after the down. And that's how he becomes free. And once again, just when you start practicing with him at home, always do this for, what, for the first few days. Okay, first few days he's back with you, down. And don't, don't say down, wait for him to ignore you and then put him down like that, just everything at once. Down, and maybe even in a couple of days, you won't even need to do the foot part anymore. I don't anymore, but I think he may um, need a few days to kind of catch up with you. So um, just, just do that for a few days and then you won't have to later. Okay, okay, bro. sit, go.